Hey guys, Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV. Hey guys, Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV. Now, instead of me typically going through every single feature of the Lenovo Legion Phone Dual, I've decided to put on my gaming hat on to look at this phone's usage from a gaming's perspective since it is more of a gaming smartphone. So let's check it out. Looking at the phone's build quality and design, the phone had a quite premium build and quite a decent heft to it. And like what you would usually find in a gaming smartphone, the device was a bit thicker than a typical smartphone to give you a proper grip when it comes to playing games. Then there's the matte finish at the sides, also had a semi squared off edges, which also helps with the overall grip. Now in front, there is a flat screen display with the in-display fingerprint sensor which unlocks really fast. And then at the back, you'll find the phone's unique design where firstly, the cameras are placed in the middle slightly towards the top of the phone with no camera bump at all. So you won't have a wobbly smartphone. And if you're holding the phone in a landscape position, you'll find a text which says stylish outside on the left and savage inside on the right and right in the middle, you'll find a nice illuminated Legion logo at the back where it is customizable to change colors under gaming, incoming call, notification and charging with different motion effects as well. Now looking at the ports and buttons from a landscape position, on the right, you'll find the SIM ejector slot and one of two USB-C ports where the other USB port is down below next to the volume rockers. Now, why there's two USB ports, you ask? Well, stay till the end of this video. Then looking on top, there's the power button. So a gaming phone with horrible, ugly notch or any sort of camera cutout is a huge deal breaker for most people, including me. And the good news is that the phone comes with a full 6.65 inch AMOLED screen with a resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels with HDR10 plus and up to a super high 144 hertz refresh rate where you have the option to only use the 144 hertz specifically during gaming. Now, if you're wondering where the front camera is, or even there is a front camera, well, Lenovo has played it smart by not putting only a pop-up camera, but if you guys are playing on a landscape position like this, the pop-up camera is right in the middle, making it easier for you to play games and stream at the same time using the front camera's composition right in the middle instead of typically on the side with the additional cool filters on the face as well. Genius. So with this, playing games on the phone for a really long time did not make me have any sort of eye fatigue. And due to its great colours and brightness, the details of the highlights and shadows were great when playing games to ensure that no details were missed. Now looking at the phone's hardware or the engine of the phone, the phone comes with a Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset with the Adreno 650 GPU where the variant that I have is the massive 12 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of storage and it comes with Android 10 with Legion OS ZUI version 12 skin. Now having 12 gigs of RAM really shows that Lenovo was dead serious of giving us the utmost best performance as a gaming smartphone where there were no problems or any lagging issues not only when it comes to playing games but also using the phone as my daily smartphone. And of course with a really good 256 gigs of storage, you won't have any storage anxiety when playing games on the phone which only means that I could download space, download space, sure. <laughs> download the space. Which only means that I could download games after games with plenty of storage still remaining on the phone. Now let's talk about cameras. Now, here's the thing. 
Yes, I know that this is a gaming smartphone review and smartphone cameras on a gaming smartphone, in a lack of a better term, totally sucks. But that was not the case here, as the phone has surprisingly an amazing camera on the main lens, both for photos and videos, and the same can be said for the front camera as well. And I also find that the night mode shots to be one of the best that I've ever seen, as you guys can see over here, where the phone comes with a 64 megapixel f1.9 aperture lens and a 16 megapixel f2.2 16mm ultra wide angle lens. Then the front camera comes with a pop up selfie camera of a 20 megapixel f2.2 aperture lens. Then looking at the phone's audio, the phone has a dual front-facing speakers where the audio quality was great when it comes to playing music and of course, playing games was surely one of the loudest smartphone speakers they have tested where it ranged close to up to the 90 dB mark and here is a quick sound test. And also worth mentioning when it comes to the Bluetooth wireless audio, it has Aptex, LDAC and TWS Plus to not only give you a great audio but also a reduced latency as well. Now diving deeper into the gaming mode, you can go through the gaming menu by touching and holding both of the shoulder keys on the top sides of the phone on a landscape position to launch that and these two shoulder keys could also be used as actions in the games as well. And within the game, you can swipe down to go through the Legion Assistance game menu where in there, there's the ping quality, both for Wi-Fi and SIM connectivity and the brightness slider over there on the left. Then in the middle, there is the frames per second marker, the refresh rate and the GPU and CPU performance where there's also the option of the Rampage mode to fully maximize the overall performance of the phone. Then you also find the temperature of the phone over there. Then finally, looking towards the right, there's the additional settings like back recording, controller, stream mode, and to take a screenshot and many other options available over there. Then looking down below, you'll find the audio slider over there as well. Now, when it comes to the exact games that I've played on the phone, first of all, I played Gale Club as usual, where the gameplay was nice and smooth with its high refresh rate. Then I tested PUBG Mobile with graphics set to HDR and frame rate set to extreme and I'm happy to note that it ran well with no lag and only a very tiny bit warmth during a long gameplay. And it also ran great when I was playing COD Mobile as well. And since I have the phone with me a while more, do let me know what games that you would like for me to test at the comment section below and I'll test them out for you. And finally, none of this amazing phone's gameplay would matter if it did not have a great battery as the Lenovo Legion Phone Dual comes with a dual 2500mAh of battery which brings this to a total capacity of 5000mAh which gave me an average of 5 hours and 36 minutes of screen on time when I was at 8% battery where it lasted a total of 1 day and 29 minutes since the last charge at 144Hz refresh rate all the way so that was truly amazing now since there is two USB-C ports as mentioned earlier you can charge not one but also the other USB-C port at the same time to give you a dual turbo charge where it gives you fast charging up to a massive 90 watts for the 512 gigs variant and 65 watts for this 128 gigs storage variant. And another reason why there is another USB port down below is because once you're playing game, it's easier to charge without any interference. So there you have it, my full gaming review with the Lenovo Legion Phone Dual. And if you guys are planning to get the phone, it is priced at 3,399 ringgit and it comes with two colors for you guys to choose from where the one which I'm reviewing is called the Blazing Blue and it also comes in Vengeance Red where I'll leave links down below for you guys to get yourself one. With this, do let me know if you guys have any questions about the phone at the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Like, share and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you haven't done so. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys in my next video.